I'm Jason Fitz from Rivals, hanging out on National Signing Day with West Virginia head coach, Neil Brown. Coach, thanks for joining me. I know you're slammed today. Let's start with the very basics. Tell me about your recruiting class. How you feeling? Well, I know you're, I'm not the only head coach you're talking to, and, and I doubt that you have any head coaches on here that don't feel good about their recruiting class, right? And so, now we're excited. Uh, we added 22 guys today, and, and we were intentional about who we added, making sure we brought in the right guys for our program. And, uh, you know, we really focused on kind of what, our, what we consider our local area, which is within a six-hour radius, and we added 16 of those guys. So, um, excited about it, looking forward. We, get, we have several early enrollees that will be here in a couple of weeks, so looking forward to get started. You said the right guys. What makes the right guy for you? Well, I think, you know, we've been here five years now, and so – you start understanding we had, we had a, a success this year. We think we can continue to build on this um, eight wins, hopefully get to nine in a bowl game and continue to build on that. We finished fourth in our league and our goal is to get to Dallas. Um, and we really feel confident in our plan to do that. And I think anytime you stay at, stay at a place, you start figuring out kind of what's the best way to build a winner and a consistent winner. And what we've really focused on is building through the line of scrimmage and, um, and so the strength of our football team right now is on our offense and defensive line, and we continue to focus on that. And, and we want to build our roster through high school recruiting. And I think that's the best long-term approach for West Virginia. We feel we, – we think one of the our, – our best attribute is, is that we're a developmental program. We've heavily invested in strength and conditioning, nutrition, sports science, recovery, uh, sports psychology – and so we have a lot of confidence in our ability to develop student athletes. And then we continue to build on our resources to retain those student athletes once they start being really productive. And so, and then we'll supplement our roster through the transfer portal, either if we lose guys or if we have, if we make some recruiting mistakes. So it's interesting when you say that, because it feels like the transfer portal has become such a huge enigma for everybody. You're obviously finding that balance when you're in living rooms. Do you feel like that pitch, that part of the conversation is different than other places? Well, I hope so. You know, I think, you know, I think if you look at your roster, you're going to have 85 scholarships and you're going to, you're going to basically about 30 guys each and every year. So about a third of your roster is going to have turnover. And so, you know, these are ballpark numbers, but you're looking at 20 high school to 10 transfers every year. That's kind of the recipe for us here. And we might be off, you know, obviously we signed 22 high school this year, you know, so maybe we're at eight to 10 uh, transfers, whatever it is. But that's going to be kind of the the makeup year in and year out. And I think you're just up front with them. You know, uh, and what happens is, too, is, is I think most programs are building through high school recruiting. You have some that are just they're going all in on the transfer portal. And, and I get that approach, too. The hard thing about that approach is it's hard to build your room. It's hard to build the culture of your football team. You can do it for one year. And then chemistry is so so vital. And it's a it's a it's a really delicate balance between. Um, bringing guys in and continuing to have that true togetherness. We were a little surprised last night. We were looking at your list, and one thing that stood out to us is you got three athletes. Like, there's just the ATH, right? Is that part of your philosophy right now in the way you're recruiting? Well, it, it, for us, is we've got a lot, we went heavy on defensive backs. We got five defensive backs, and sometimes those guys are listed as athletes because they can play safety, corner, nickel, and that's kind of where those come from. We also got a really good player. Uh, from right here, uh, Keyshawn Robinson from st in the state, and um, he made all state offense and defense, and so he's a guy that can play play either side. Um, but yeah, we we wanted to get some versatile athletes that that can play multiple positions in the secondary. You mentioned the success you're having earlier, and this was obviously a really good year for you guys. The Big 12 going through a little bit of change this year. We all know that headed into next year. When you're sitting in living rooms, how much is the future of the conference and where you guys stack up in that part of your conversation? Well, I think since uh, Brett Yormark took over as commissioner is our our visibility as a conference. Um, you know, I think that some of the things that he's done from a branding and marketing standpoint have really kind of grown our brand, the Big 12 brand. And then now the fact that we go from coast to coast is something that's that's critical. And, you know, we've I think we've you know, we've really done a nice job in our additions over the last two years. Now we've got a 16-team conference that's going to be extremely competitive. The winner of our league will definitely be in the 12-team 12, 12 playoff. And I think that, you know, you can you can sell, and, and I think it's very um, 
uh, possible and, and maybe even predictable that we'll have two and three teams from the Big 12 that'll be in the playoff moving forward. You uh, you got you added to a bowl game. You mentioned marketing. I think the best marketed bowl game in all the world is the Duke's Mayo Bowl. I yeah. was around it a lot when I was at ESPN. I'm telling you, that thing is wild. So what's it mean for you guys? Because it's such a cultural phenomenon, what's it mean to be part of it? Well, it's fun. You know, like bowl games should be fun. In, unless you're in the CFP, man, these should be fun, rewarding experiences. They're not your normal run-of-the-mill game. Like this should be something that's fun. Like Charlotte's a great city to go to. Um, it's a six-hour ride from Morgantown. It's one of the biggest alumni bases West Virginia University has. So we're going to have a big crowd. We're playing against a, a team that has a good brand, obviously a really strong uh, home state team in North Carolina. And so uh, it's a good matchup. It's a quality matchup. We're in a great time slot. Um, you know, so our guys are going to be excited. And uh, they'll be fired up. They'll probably play a little harder uh, to, to see me kind of get, uh, if we're fortunate enough to win the game, get doused with mayonnaise, right? I mean, that's a real question. Have you been prepping for it? Like, what do you do to get ready for the what prepping. I, I don't know what you do. I, I'll tell you what I'm looking for is anybody that has ponchos or, like, rain gear. I'm looking for a sponsorship, right? So I'll try to, like, anything that, that repels mayonnaise, that's what I need to get a sponsor for. I'm telling you, maybe a nose plug or something, too, because you don't want to get that stuff up in your nose. You're going to be no. smelling mayo for, yeah, for a week. Yeah. Coach, i got to find out how closely they do that after the game. Uh, look, I got inside sources. I'll, I'll hit you up on the side. We'll try and get you. Like, uh, I, I'm just saying your players should protect you. They should dive over you and take all the mayo back. Yeah, the I, there's a lot of things that could happen, but that will not be one of them. <laughs> there's going to be no group of people, maybe other than my wife and kids, that are going to enjoy that more than our, than our players. Your wife and kids are going to have to smell the mayo on you for a month, though. It's a part of the glory of it, my friend. I appreciate your time. I know you're slammed. Thank you so much for joining us on a busy day. Congrats on a great season and a great day for signing. Yeah, thanks for having us on.